Hey guys, 5,000 here. Today I'm going to be doing a seatbelt modification for my uh, 2017 Ford Mustang GT. <clears throat> the this will this mod will work for any S550, uh, 18, 19 doesn't matter. Uh, the seats should be all the same. Uh, this was originally started by Eco SVO on the Mustang G6 forums. Uh, I'll link it down below. So let me show you what, what it actually ends up looking like when we're done. So here it is, this mod. Uh, basically you're just adding a new guide that's a little bit further out. So it's not uh, pulling on your neck as much where the, um, the stock leather strap would just hold it against the seat and it pulls, it can actually rub against your neck fairly easily. A lot of people complain about that. Uh, don't like that. So here's the piece. Uh, I got this off of eBay. The driver's side was about $15 and the passenger side for some reason was like $20. But I'll link the part number down below as well. Uh, the other alternative to that though is getting a seatbelt extension directly from Ford. They do provide them for free. Um, for whatever reason, both dealerships that I've gone to in the past uh, did not have the one for the 15 through the 2017 model. Uh, so they gave me the 11 through 14, the S197, I believe. And it doesn't fit. I guess this, this piece is different. Seatbelts are weird. Go figure. Starting out, take the uh, headrest out. If you try and take this completely out. You will need two hands because you've got push pins on both sides. But we do need this off because we need it to line up the holes that we're going to end up drilling out. Next you will need a drill bit. This one is a half inch. The piece comes with uh, pre-drilled. Uh, this is the I'm, I'm stock cobalt sizes. Uh, this side, I don't know what size it is, but it does not fit. As you can see, that's, that's the stock cobalt one. Get it going fast enough, and just kind of shove it in there. That's pretty much the best way to do that. Simple enough. If you want to deburr it a little bit, get some of the pieces out, you can. And fits perfectly. Goes goes straight on. It'll end up being sitting like about there once it's installed. Oops, I didn't want to come off. Um, <clears throat> so let's move on to the next part of it. After that one's drilled out, you get a good measurement of where the next hole is going to need to be. Let's see if I got a marker. White out. Just a, just a dab, just because it's not, it's going to be drilled out anyways. So, and it's a, an approximate, you know, it's going to be in the center. So right there is where exactly I need to drill. Should have also mentioned that uh, this does make a mess when you're drilling into th to this piece. So you can have something under it to try and catch it. Or you can just let it fall over the ground. I need to clean my ch tool chest now. Get it as flat as it can be. Just drill. Now that that's done, clean up the hole a bit. There you go. Bam, and that's done. So this piece will be sitting like so, uh, triangle up, slide it on. And it's done for that. Let's go install it. Now 
Let's take seatbelt, slide it in. It will make your seatbelt look a little funny while it sits because it's twisted up a little, but that's normal. Um, the only complaint I've had so far about this was it will slip out of this, this little notch, for whatever reason. To combat that, I've just put the put this piece back on. That's it. Super simple, and uh, it makes a huge difference in, in my opinion. If you end up having any questions or anything, feel free to comment below, and I will uh, do my best to get back to you. If this was helpful, please subscribe and, and like this video. But thanks for joining me, guys.